yeah, so, uh, yeah, it was exciting to uh, definitely hear the news, and um, hopefully I'm still here. Uh, that's the first step, and, uh, but yeah, it should be, uh, should be a lot of fun. What would you be most excited about maybe showing off about your hometown and your home area? Because I know there's a lot of pride among Finns, and especially uh, it's got to be the same for you, I'd have to think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I think we're only going to be there for two days, and uh, otherwise in Helsinki, so there's not much not much time. But And uh, well, if Corpy is here as well, he'll, he'll probably handle the first five days in Helsinki, and then I'll kind of kind of jump in, even though we don't probably don't have too much time to... Uh, to kill, but uh, yeah, just uh, happy, happy to hear the news. What have you have you you have, have you heard about anything about the uh, Nokia Arena? I know it's a a new one there. Have you have have you seen it or anything like that? No, I, yeah, I've seen it, um, and a lot of a lot of my buddies buddies of. Been there, watch watching games, and uh, yeah, apparently it's it's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, it'll be it'll be fun fun to go play over there, and uh, you know, play uh, play in that arena for the first time. Um, just the uh, notoriety aspect of the Blue Jackets, they don't get talked about right now in any way a whole ton. Uh, but to be able to play in one of these NHL type games, uh, how good could that be for the team? Uh, just kind of get. Yeah, I mean it's it's a uh, it's a big opportunity, obviously for uh, for us and for all the players, and um, you know they're they're great hockey people over over there, so it's uh, exciting for them as well. And you know I've uh, I've got to uh, experience that one once uh, a couple years ago playing playing over there, which was it was awesome for me. I can't speak out, speak on behalf of uh, anyone else. I, I know Jack hated it, but uh, but that's. You know, but it'll, it'll be a great opportunity for all of us. Yeah. Um, as far as the, the Blue Jackets go, you know, they've had kind of a, a line of Finnish players over the years. There was some Jarmo got here as well. Are they pretty well known uh, in Finland, um, you know, because of the, the kind of the Finnish connection there? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like every NHL guy is pretty well known. Uh, some guys are more and some guys are less. Um, but yeah, I feel like everybody who play, plays here, it's uh, pretty uh, pretty big back home. And like I said, some guys are bigger and some guys are a little bit smaller, but everybody's kind of kind of known over there. Patty, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned your buddies and obviously your family's over there too. Have you heard from them as this has developed and how excited they are to have you come over and, uh, and play a couple games over there? Yeah, I haven't talked to anyone honestly about it. Um, but yeah, I'm sure everybody's going to be excited to uh, to get to see see me play. And obviously, it's been a couple uh, tough years with COVID and all that. Um, so it'll be it'll be fun for you know for for everyone over there, for the fans and everyone else to uh, hopefully get to see the watch watch me play and, um, and just watch NHL hockey overall. Yeah, from from that standpoint, I know I know you've had your moms come over and your friends have come over a couple times, but for you to be in front of that group. I would imagine that would be an inspiring couple of games for you to know who's watching and know how many different uh, different folks who've grown up or watched you grow up, and now they're watching you play uh, an NHL game. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, well like last time. It was it was probably the, well top top three in, in the games I've played in the NHL, and um, and now especially going to my hometown, that's uh, that's pretty pretty cool and a lot of. Well, it's different here for uh, for North American guys, then they get they get to play in their hometowns. That was usually, um, but for Europeans, it's pretty rare that uh, you know we get that opportunity. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty sweet. And uh, like I said before, hopefully I'll, I'll be here to uh, to play in that game. But but yeah, it should be should be fun. I think that kind of people say that like there's only two countries in the world that like where hockey is like the number one sport and it's Canada and Finland. I mean, what can you say about just the, the kind of how big the sport is there and how many people support it? I know that a lot of people follow your career, follow the NHL. It's it's huge hockey culture there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, well, hockey's pretty much uh, the one thing we're probably really really good at, and uh, obviously lately we've been getting more and more NHL guys uh, so that's obviously been helpful and uh, you know all the success in the world and Olympics and all that I think it's just keeps keeps growing um, 
but yeah, it's you know we're we're all about hockey, so it'll, it'll be it'll be great. And what could you tell us just real quick, maybe about your hometown, your home area? Because I know people in the United States probably if they think about Finland, they think about Helsinki. But what makes kind of um, I don't want to get it wrong again, Tampere, or how does it? What makes it kind of stand out among uh, Finnish cities in your opinion? Yeah, I don't personally like Helsinki at all, so uh, um, that's not the good spot for me. Um, no, it's you know, it's pretty good, but but yeah, it's uh, I think we have like two hundred fifty thousand thousand people, and uh, it's kind of kind of like between two lakes, so it's it's kind of nice, and, and yeah, that's that's about it in a, in a nutshell. Sounds great, doesn't it? It does. Are you excited <laughs> yeah. to show it off a little bit, though? Oh yeah. Are you uh, are you planning on uh, playing in the world? Uh. I'm, I'm not not sure yet. We'll we'll see how the body feels and all all that after uh, after we're done here. But uh, there's always a chance, and uh, there's always a chance not to go. But uh, we'll we'll see. How much has the NHL grown in Finland from when you were a little kid to now? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, well, back in the day when I was I was growing up, there wasn't obviously nearly as many players as there is today, and I feel like there's there's friends in every team, and some teams have half the guys that are finished. And uh, but yeah, it's it's grown quite a bit, a bit, and um, obviously we've tried to try to do a good job of uh, of growing the game, and obviously a lot of guys have had success over here, which uh, which obviously helps. And um, but yeah, I feel like people are just you know getting into following hockey more over over here, and getting getting to see games on TV and. And um, hopefully next year, you know, at, at, in, in person. Um, so those are those are great opportunities for us and for the fans over there to uh, get to watch them hockey live. Um, there's only five games left in the regular season. Are you hopeful to try and get back before the season's over or no? Um, yeah, well, everybody always wants to play, but you know, right now, right now, that's. You know, not the case that, uh, you know, missed a couple of games and uh, just going day by day, really, really how I feel. And, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, the situation is what it is, but, uh, you know, just try to get, get healthy and, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully get a couple more games in. Was it a situation that was just kind of building for a little while or was it like just one thing that happened and you're like, whoa, got it? Uh, it's been kind of, kind of back and forth uh, for, for a while and now it kind of, um, you know, not not 100 percent because of that. So just try to try to make sure, um, you know, when when I'm out there, I'm 100 percent and able to do my job, which is not the case right now. But just try to try to get healthy, and that's it. We'll take uh, go to 40. Go ahead, 40. Hey, thanks, Len. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. Um, I think a lot of us take for granted in North America just uh, what it's like for a player to leave his hometown and come. Uh, yeah, it's uh, well, it's def def definitely different. Um, you know, culture is different, different, um, different country, and uh, obviously different language, and everything is kind of new. And it was, but it was it was cool. You uh, you know you learn all the time. Every everything is kind of new when you get here, and uh, you're just learning and learning every day. And uh, but yeah, it's it's been a great great process for me, and I've I've enjoyed every minute of being being here, even though you know, be being away from home for uh, for you know lots of times. But uh, you know, it's definitely been been worth it uh, to see see uh, you know this this world over here in the NHL. And uh, but yeah, it's been uh, been definitely worth it. Yeah, is there one thing you you truly miss more than anything else about being? Yeah, I mean it's uh, you know been over there for uh, for 18 years and uh, in, in the same town and all all the friends and everyone else over there. Uh, but you know everybody's pretty much had a chance to uh, come over here and visit, which has been nice. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, always excited to go home after the year. Yeah. You made a couple comments about the Rockets. I hope you will still be here uh, next season. Have there been any indications? Um, not 
I've I've heard absolutely nothing. So uh, well, I haven't really been asking any questions, but I'm sure I'm sure the situation will be will be figured out at uh, at some point.